Hey, welcome back. I've been introducing ideas in a energy unit for physics classes and as a foundation for AP physics classes as well. So today we're going to do a quick lesson on kinetic energy, motion-based energy. So let's talk about the white rhino quickly. I happen to love biology and I like to draw connections between physics and biology or chemistry whenever possible. So the white rhino, first of all, it's called white, but it's more gray than anything else. It's one of the largest land mammals after the elephants. I believe it is the largest. It can be huge, 2,700 kilograms of mass, and it can be very fast for short bursts of time. Unfortunately, white rhinos have bad eyesight. They can actually run into things that they're not intending on running into. And so my first question is, if a white rhino ran into the side of a tree, would it have the ability to do work in the physics sense of the word work? Would it have the ability to do work on that tree? And the answer is yes, of course it would. Another way of asking the same question would be to say, would it have the ability to cause change on that tree? And the answer is yes, of course. So there is a motion-based energy as well. There are different forms of energy, and today we're going to be talking about our motion-based type of energy. So it's called kinetic energy, and so let's take a look at the equation. So here it is. First off, I do want to emphasize that kinetic energy is scalar. That means it has no inherent direction. It's also measured in joules, just like any other form of energy. Any other form of energy is also scalar and is also measured in joules. This is the typical equation you're going to see in a physics class right here. This is the slightly modified version you would see on an AP equation sheet, where m equals mass and v equals speed, not velocity. All right, so let's do a problem with our white rhino. So let's say the white rhino has this mass. He has this amount of kinetic energy. What is his speed? We're going to solve for his speed rather than just plugging numbers in. We'll do a little bit of algebra here. And if we're asked for speed, then we're looking for this V value. We're going to want to isolate for this. I want you to take a moment and think about how you would isolate this equation. Some basic algebra here. And hopefully you're able to come up with this. It's actually really easy. You would take the square root of 2ke over m, plug in your numbers, and get your answer over there. So that's how you would do a basic calculation using kinetic energy. So this lesson can also apply to physical science classes as well. So hopefully this has been helpful. I know it was fast and easy. It's an easy topic. Please stick around. We're going to do more topics in this unit of energy as well as other units as well. I hope you have a great day. Take care.